Any Irish person will be fearful that what is exactly is causing this um, activity of terrorism and etc. So I understand why my own people are fearful of that. But at the same time, I have to try to reassure them that this actually has nothing to do with Islam. Our youth organization has a pledge. And one of the things that we pledge is to be loyal to the country that we live in. And I tell everyone that comes here, men, women who come from different countries, now you have to be loyal to this country, not anywhere else. And that's the teaching of Islam. In 2003, I warned um, a member of European Parliament who I met with him deliberately to warn him that I've seen the footsteps, the foundations of extremism in Ireland. But no one, no one listened to me at that time. When I saw leaflets in a particular house in Dublin, clearly saying do jihad on, on the West and etc, etc. So I knew in 2003 extremism had set foot in Ireland and unfortunately the European Centre for Fatwa is in, is in, is in Ireland and it's in Klonsky Mosque. Um, and I'm not branding everyone in Klonsky Mosque but I'm just saying it is there. But you have these Imams who are definitely putting in the ear the young people and they're doing it here as well. Two things happen to these young people, either they go mad and go crazy uh, and leave Islam or they think that they have to do something about it and fight. There was a young doctor here in Galway. I met him many times when he was telling me, no, you're wrong, the West is wrong, and we should be fighting, and we should be doing jihad, and we should be going out there, and we should be fighting these people. And he went out there and he was killed. A young fourth year student, a uh, bright student, killed in, in Syria simply because He's been told by some imam, that's what you have to do. There is a refugee centre here. I go down there a lot. And I sit amongst them a lot. And when I go there, I can see who is having very radical views. I mean, there was one guy, particularly from Afghanistan, as one particular guy as an example. He was dangerous. Most of them are, are all are probably genuine in their fear of persecution. The worrying part was, and I mentioned it to the Afghanistan brother, that listen brother, you're, you're, you're bringing with you an ideology which is from Afghanistan. And you're escaping yourself from something from there. He was of the mindset that women shouldn't be educated to a certain level, right? And I looked at him when I showed him the hadiths where the Prophet said, you know, all Muslims, that includes women, should seek knowledge, even if they have to go as far as China, and until they enter their grave. You know, it took a number of years, but after a few years, he, he became normal. He was, yeah, now he's relaxed. And that shows that if you catch a person in the right time, you can remove all those uh, rubbish that's been put in his head.